Hey, uh, so I'm just going to be doing some programming. Uh, this is basically what I'm doing is this is a uh, mostly a discipline thing. Uh, basically, just programming all this just so that I can get the discipline down and make sure I'm like uh, basically doing everything right. So this is the uh, tutorial that I'm going to be doing just just for discipline purposes probably going to customize it just so I can like you know make it my own you know what I mean um all right let's get things moving I guess uh, moving in case going down to be handled uh, um, yep yeah, I do use Noplad plus plus not Eclipse I, I like to do things bare bones I used to actually use Notepad which was a lot of fun, but I haven't been I've been using Notepad Plus Plus just so I can see colors and make sure that I'm like spelling everything right, etc., etc., etc. So this is gonna be handled by the entity class. Basically, it tells me I'm gonna have to create a new new class. <sighs> Public class. Entity. <coughs> All right. So this is going to be our movement. This is probably. Do public static void. No, actually, I'll just do public void. I don't know exactly. Usually, what I do is I'll code it first, and then like I'll check his, their code just to see uh, did I do everything right, etc., etc., etc. This is a for loop. I personally don't like for loops, not because they're not useful, and not because they don't make sense, and not because they're not um, elegant, but just for the mere fact, I like while loops a lot more. Um, I might change this just so I can, um, just so I can uh, basically again like make it personal, like personalize it, but. Um, So what I'm doing is I'm basically um, creating creating uh or getting each each entity right here. This actually might be this might be better done in the uh game.java. I'll show you that later. Um just because this looks like a, a list of um West of entities, and I'm guessing I'm gonna want that in the uh, in the main, and then uh, for int I equal to zero. Another thing that I'll probably do is probably change these ints to shorts. Um, basically, I just like the idea of like really minimizing uh, resource management. Yeah, this looks like it's probably going to be in the um, in the game.java, but 
Uh, I'll actually change that right now. It's probably going to be in my uh, my game loop. The reason why I know this is because I know that um, I know that uh, I knew that variable G. I didn't even create it. You know, I haven't even created that, and I know that it was in game .java. Um Again, this is for discipline purposes. You might not really. I'm probably not going to explain too far into how to make a game, just because. Me personally, this is sort of like this is simply for discipline. You know, like um, I'm learning that, like nine nine times out of ten, like that's like I feel like that's probably one of the most important things. That's one of the most important. Um, aspects of the game or aspects of uh, programming so I'm going to move <coughs> long delta Again, longs are longs are actually giant numbers essentially, and um, not something I'm necessarily uh, too happy about using. Okay, let's check this out. Update location of the entity based on move speeds. So it's divided by a thousand. All right, let's check. Um, I'm gonna just check the, the game that job real quick. Just to see. All right. So this is gonna be. I believe this is 10 milliseconds. We'll keep it for now. Alright, so take up so much time has passed, multiplied by the movement in each direction. Right, makes sense. Add this to one location. The division by is to adjust for the fact that the movement value is specified in pixels per second. The specified times in milliseconds, right. Um, but you also gotta keep in mind that we are sleeping for 10 minutes seconds per loop. So. I don't know if that's such a great idea. Nonetheless, um, I'm probably going to have to change that just because it's. I mean, I'm sleeping for 10 milliseconds. Let's, let's actually go to thread.sleep and see um, Java. Let's see how long it's. how it works. Uh, let's see. That was uh, three percent, four hundred. Yep, that's in milliseconds. So, we'll do it for now and then probably change it later. Public void draw graphics G. Sprite dot draw G. Int. Int. 
Why? And this is more of a, like, the, you see these, the ints? That's more of like declarative, basically saying, um, I mean, this could be a string, etc., etc. It could be long, but we're going to change it to an int. That's basically what we're doing. Another another thing is because it's divided by a thousand, we're basically saying, hey, this is going to probably be a a uh, or what is it called a um, a double, and um, we don't want to put in doubles. So what it's going to do is is going to probably round it automatically. And then it always says an int because that's that's basically what we're gonna be uh, trying to trying to show off. All right. All right. Okay. Now we. Add this to the game. Now this. All right, this is going to game of. So, where's my class container? Okay, that's my class container, right? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm gonna put this before the game loop because I'm guessing that's what it's probably gonna be. All right. Equals new ship entity. This um I'm again gonna probably change it. Three seventy, three fifty. That's just X Y position right there. Just basically saying, hey, this is where we're gonna place it. Ship. I don't need to put a capitalize, but again, don't like four variables, but more four loops, but that's okay. It's okay. I mean. It is, in general, um, more uh, more elegant in general. Um, just because, I mean, everything um, everything just makes sense, and it's right there, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, I, again, I just like a lot of variables because I feel like I have more control. Um, less is done for me. Um, that happens a lot in, in the way I program. I, I like to do a lot of things just my way. I'm guessing this is a GIF. And then this is most likely going to be variable based off like a specific x, y. The y is going to be the row, and then the x is going to be, uh, so it's going to be 100 plus x times 50. And then this looks like uh, 50 plus row times 30. times 
entities dot add alien alien count plus plus So this looks like it's going to it's going to make five rows of twelve aliens each, which is uh, about sixty aliens in all. And um, basically, that's essentially what's going to do. Uh, play a ship. We simply create a ship in a perfect graphic center. Uh, second seven is in as we loop back to creating a block of aliens again. So it's just creating location addition. Ship entity public class ship. I believe it's ship entity, right? Mm, okay, about Java. Oh, yeah, it's ship entity. Extends entity. Ship entity dot Java. All right. <coughs> so public If dx is less than zero and x is less than ten, return I think this is yeah, it's yeah, I was going to say, it looks like it's, um, saying the bounds. If, uh, dy is greater than zero, and x is greater than 750, Oh, don't tell me this froze on me. <laughs> My goodness, that almost froze. Did not like that. Alright, so it's just base bounds for uh, x x movement. Oops, dx for x movement. Um, just getting too close to the left edge, stop the move. Getting too close to the right move, to right edge, stop the move. And then otherwise, move delta. Return basically says return it, nothing happens. Like, And then super is basically calling the entity class, uh, which is the parent class. Um, that we're extending um, that that movement. So yeah, that's kind of cool. All right. So yeah, 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 yeah. 
Shine and USB screen. All right, save that. I'm gonna do this um, public class shot entity. Extends entity. Save that as sh shot entity dot Java. All right, let's get that move on. <laughs> get that move on. Long Delta. Super dot move Delta. There's no no worries about binding it. Um, but there is worries about destroying it. So basically, if the if the uh, game dot remove entity this if the if the shot goes past the, uh, the y point I would even do it even uh, less than this or greater than this like even negative 10 but I don't even know how big the uh, the graphic is so but basically if it goes past the green I would basically remove it you know and the story yeah, I can definitely imagine aliens being the most tricky. This uh, opposite direction, conjunction, change direction, part is cover routine guideline. First attack. So if dx is less than zero and less than ten, game dot update logic. Um, I'm guessing that basically the whole idea here is um, it's greater than zero. And x is greater than 750. Then the update logic. Because it's going to be very similar to Space Invaders, we're going to have to move the entire, the entire, what's it called? Uh, um, yeah, super move. Public void move long delta. Yeah, we're probably going to have to do like a whole different game logic because basically we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? We're going to have like a number of different uh, aliens. And 
we're going to have to move them all, see if this one hits the right bound, and then move them all back. So, and then check if the left one hits the left bound. So it's going to it's going to be a lot more of a it's like a group dynamic. It's like a team teamwork, you know? Yeah. All right. So apparently they want to do this in the main game. That's fun. We can do it in the main game. I'm down for that. Um, let's close. Close. I'm gonna have to reopen these and then like include all the variables and everything like that. Um, for now though, I just want to, you know. So I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put it under destructor. In private class key input handler extends key adapter. Yep, public void, key pressed. Oop. Pressed, there we go. Key event. Is equal to key event VK left. I will probably also change this because I want to make it dynamic. Um, so basically, instead of E it being key event, um, it's going to be basically a generic event. Um, and then uh, basically allow people to like can customize the controls essentially. <laughs> I like this though. That's solid. Uh, basically, what they're doing right now is seeing if the key is down or if the key is up. And that's solid. That's solid. It sounds simple. It sounds, um, but when it comes down to it, um, like little things like that really can make a difference. Um, e dot get key code. Is equal to key event dot let's do space yeah space figure that space about oh, fire press is that what we're doing I just don't want to screw up and like forget what am I'm doing. And all of these are most likely going to be um, Boolean, but I'll worry about that later. Public void key released. Event E. If e dot get key code is equal to key event dot vk left, e 
could also turn these both into one um, one um, it's I'm not gonna worry about it but it's like little shit like this so like you don't need to have like so much coding like this is not this is like simple ass stupid ass shit that you can like optimize um i had a uh, had a weird ass way of uh um, vk right i had a weird um something similar um except i did it by um by uh, using math, it was very weird, but also a lot of fun to do. Um, basically, all of these key codes um, are actually also numbers, which is kind of cool, kind of cool. But more importantly, is that you can actually use those numbers, and oops. And if you um, if you use those numbers right, um, basically you can. You, I I did a lot of modulus stuff. I did a lot of modulus type stuff, which. Um, I mean, modulus is a lot of fun to work with, in my opinion. Whoops. I do not want to put it inside of that. That would have been really frustrating. Void, void, key typed event. If we escape, quit the game. I can dig it. E dot get key car. There we go. Get key car equals motherfucking twenty seven. What's up? Yeah, but if you um, you can actually use those numbers and create all kinds of interesting math equations. Um, using these types of numbers here. Um, it was a lot of fun for me, but also completely unnecessary. All right. Yep. And record states booleans, yep, boolean variables in our main class. Um, to make this class work, we need to add it to our canvas as key a listener. All right, let's add it to the constructor. Huh? Sounds good to me. Add key a listener. New key input handler. Again, long term, I definitely want to include a So, what are we doing here? Init enemies. Okay. So. This is going to accelerate the shit. If I put this in the game loop. This is going to accelerate it because it's going to basically say we're going to increase or decrease horizontal movement with each loop. That's fine. That's fine. I 
Oh, I see. Never mind. That's a little bit. Uh, that's a little bit. Uh. Okay. I probably want to do this above the entities, actually. That's not optimized, but you know what? This guy is nonetheless a teacher. You know, teaching is so important because without a teacher, I would not be coding right now. And right pressed. I see what you did there. I mean, that works. Ship that set whole horizontal movement. As it move speed. Oh, don't need that. Else if right pressed. See that the player holds a fire cue like the f shift of fire shot out towards the player. Yeah, and so we don't want to let the player just keep firing. Hell no! We get to limit how often they can fire. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> yeah, try to fire. He's putting a lot of stuff in the game logic, which is fun. It's fun. If a fire pressed, try to to fire fire. Y'all got fire to prevent player firing not to uh, court in a public void. Try to fire. I can dig it. You know, when I was a uh, when I was younger, I used to actually just copy and paste these, and then sort of, and then I get really, uh, I basically got lazy doing that because I wouldn't actually finish it. Um, now that I'm older, I understand discipline and how important it really is. Um, system. Current time millis last fire fire yoga fire interval whoops I can dig it I can dig it I like that you are like that but they need to I am calling system current time and millis a, a lot a lot I don't think that's a good thing I think calling it so many times within the single loop you know you can call it once and then yeah there we go oh. I just think that um shot especially because it's a long you know new shot entity this is 
sprites shot dot gif and then yeah we want the ships x y ship dot get plus 10 ship dot get y I'm probably gonna want to make this place like 100 or whatever it is because Go check it out. Plus ten minus thirty. Oh, okay. oh right. They're trying to center it. Right. Of course they're centering it. Because the X position and this is Y minus thirty, I believe it was. Yep. Entities add shot. <clears throat> mm -mm. Oh, okay cool this is i was gonna say um i'm a little worried about having all these variables in here because but this is a separate function which means the automatic garbage collector will not have to worry about it all right um Oh, I'm getting too pretty far. All right, let's start soon. Well, I'll stop it here.